Today we're going to be creating a 3D shape and adding some text onto it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start by creating our part file. Okay, and this time we're going to create a rectangular solid. So I right, I click on circle, click once, drag out, click again, click on the dimension tool, and we're going to make this a two inch diameter circle. So I double click on the dimension, number, highlight the dimension itself, enter a two, click on the green check, right click done, right click finish sketch. Okay, now we're out of the sketch mode and into 3D mode, so we're going to go ahead and extrude. And the, the profile of my circle is, all, is automatically selected for me. And we're going to go ahead and make this a 3-inch uh, three inch depth right, or, uh, cylinder. Okay, so now we have our cylinder made. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Okay, we're going to get right on this right face. Actually, we're going to get a little bit offset by using the cube on the right here. Right click done to get out of zoom mode. Now we need to create a work plane for ourselves. Here's our work plane. Okay, notice that the work plane is not going to be created in if I turn the the drawing around here using the cube, you can see the work plane isn't going to be created right on the side of our object. And that's what we really want. So I click on plane. And now I'm going to and go to and you notice that if I touch the the face of the rect of the cylinder, you can see a very faint yellow outline. And that outlines means that if I click right now, it's going to place the work plane right, right tangent to the rectangular. It's going to place it tangent to the cylinder. And that's exactly what I want. So I'm going to click on there to make a work plane and use the cube to show you that it's just touching the edge of that cylinder. Okay, let's get it back to where we're facing the plane itself. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to go back around here. Okay, now we're going to create our sketch. So right click on the blue area, click on new sketch, highlight the edge of the work plane and click. Now we have our sketch. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom all. Okay, now we're going to create our text. So I'm going to place the text on an arc. So I click the arc tool, click once. And I'm going to go ahead and click twice. And pull up the arc just a bit. Now I'm going to right click done and now I'm going to create geometry text. So the text tool might look a bit like this when you start. I click the down arrow, click geometry text, and now I get this plus sign next to my mouse pointer. I click the line that I want the text to be attached to and the text box comes up. Now I'm just going to put my name on here. So we have Mr. C for Frank Carmody and we have Mr. C here and now what I do to see the text on my drawing is I actually click this update button so I click update and it's going to show me Mr. C now look now this text doesn't look that great so far right so the first thing I'm going to do is get it the right size and to do that I have to highlight my text and change the size let's say that my size is going to be 0.3 inches click update and my text gets bigger so I can kind of update is the way that I preview my text let's make it just a little bit bigger I have to actually re-highlight to change it again so if you just were to change this it wouldn't do anything you have to re-highlight and change again click update my text gets even bigger okay notice that if I try to change the text now let's say that I want to make it Times New Roman and click update nothing happens that's because I didn't re-highlight the text to click off the text re-highlight it. Now I can change it to Times New Roman. I click update. So my text is getting a little bit better. I'm going to click off it again. I'm going to make it bold. Okay. Oops. Highlight. Click bold again. And update. Okay. Now my text is looking better. It's looking about how I want it. Uh, but start, but it's not really in the center of my line. So this is where the start angle comes in. So I'm going to go ahead and change the start angle. Let's change it to 12 to start out. Click update. And notice now it's more in the center of the drawing. Okay, so my text is just how I wanted it. I'm going to click OK. Now I want to move my text down just a bit. So I'm going to... I can't do this. If you notice that that's just going to change the angle of the, of the um, circle or the arc that I have. So I'm going to zoom out just a bit. 
And notice if I right click done, if I highlight this circle, I get a zoom, click done. I I get this center line of my arc. So I can actually, when I'm not in a tool, I can actually take this center line from the side. Edge of my work plane or from the, um, from the side of my shape. But for now, we're just going to do the text. So I'm going to go back up and go to Zoom All to get my text back up here. Now I'm going to right click, finish sketch. Now I'm back into my 3D design, and now I'm going to choose Emboss. So here comes my Emboss dialog, my, my profile arrow, arrow. My profile arrow is selected. I'm going to click my letters here. I'm going to click Wrap to Face. That's important because the letters will be floating out in space unless I do Wrap to Face. Now I'm going to select my face. Oops. And the face I want, of course, is this. Uh, this a cylinder face here that it's above. My depth, I'm going to leave it 0.1 inches. The depth, it could be, um, uh, that's how far out the letters are going to come out from the face. Now I can do it out or in. I can emboss into the solid or I can emboss out from the solid. And we're going to edit this in just a second. So we're going to try it once. So I click OK. And the embossing happens right here. We're waiting for the emboss to go on the face of the letter. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our work plane invisible. I right click on the edge of the work plane, click on visibility, and there we have it. So Mr. C is now embossed on the side of this um, shape. Okay, let's say that uh, I want to uh, see this. This is a different uh, material. So right now it's kind of this gray material. Let this be a, a gold color. So I click on, I go up to the top, click on the down arrow, arrow as as material, and let's go ahead and make it uh, metal, uh, metal gold here. I click on that, and now it's a kind of a gold color. Okay, I'm gonna drag it back around, and let's say that I decide that I want to change my emboss. This is really where the browser bar comes in. So I go over to my browser bar, I can collapse the origin that I use if I click it minus. And now I can actually open up this emboss. I can edit the sketch, and that's the text that I have. I can also edit the emboss. So let's first I'm going to change the, the text of my sketch. So I'm going to right click on sketch two, click edit sketch, and I'm going to go back in and right click on my text and do edit geometry text. Let's say I don't want people to know who Mr. C is. I'm going to make a Mr. X. So I click OK. Okay, so now I have Mr. X instead of Mr. C, a mysterious name for a mysterious teacher. I'm going to right-click, finish, click Finish Sketch, and notice that if I don't change too much stuff, that actually it's going to repeat the emboss, but only now it says Mr. X. Okay, so that was a change in my sketch. Now I'm going to change the emboss. Let's say that I want to change the 3D feature. I'm going to go back to my browser bar, right-click on my emboss, and emboss one. I'm going to click Edit Feature. And now let's say that instead of having the text come out, I want it to go into the shape. So I'm going to put engrave into face, click OK. It's going to change the emboss once again. OK, so let me just turn it around here. And you can see now that the shape is, the letters don't come out. They actually go back into the, the cylinder. OK, so there we go. Uh, so your assignment is just to create a type of a 3D shape. Uh, create a work plane on that shape and then add text onto your work plane and emboss it onto the shape. The shape must be a curved shape. It's much more difficult to do it on a curved shape, so the shape must be curved. Okay, good luck. I'm going to go ahead and save uh, just like you should and we're going to call it Mr. Carmody Emboss. Okay, now that I've saved it's your turn. Good luck.